Okay, welcome to today's webinar. The topic today is documenting results in the RFM printout report. My name is Andreas Hörold. I'm responsible for marketing and public relations. For instance, the Dubai website, press releases, webinars, etc. I will be the presenter today. And my name is Sandy Matula. I'm responsible for customer support. Um, today, I will answer your questions during the webinar. Okay, thank you, Sandy. I think we can hide the webcams so that you can see the full screen. Okay. On the right side of your screen, you can open a control panel where you can ask questions via chat. Sandy will answer you. If you don't get an answer during the webinar, because there are too many, you will get an email after the webinar. The other way is to watch the entire webinar and then email your question to info at global.com. To the agenda today, I will introduce some tips and tricks on display options, also on the printout report, also basic information. I do a single and must print of graphics to the printout report. And yeah, I show how to create a verifiable printout report. We turn directly to the program, RFM. That's a uh, storage building made of timber and a reinforced concrete floor slab, um, bracings from steel, you can see around 20. The model is completed, it's designed, the timber structure is designed and also the concrete structure. We can go through the load cases, self-weight with uh, roof loads and single loads from racks, snow load, the imposed loads with loads from forklifts and from the racks, wind in X direction, Y direction, imperfections in X direction and Y direction, <coughs> pre-stress. And then there are a lot of load combinations that are automatically created by the program. Also for result combinations, one for the ultimate limit state design, three for the serviceability limit state design, then the design of the steel structure. Those are only the bracings. You can see a design ratio of 55%. Then the concrete results, also for the floor slab. Then the results of the timber design. Here you can see a design ratio of 94%. That's in the horizontal beam here, the maximum design ratio. Then I used half soil in for the, uh, to determine the elastic foundation coefficients. Uh, but we want to start with the yeah, member results. We want to print them in the printout report. But at first, I would like to um, yeah, move the axis designations closer to the model. How to do that, I can show you maybe in the set view. We go here with a right click in the grid options, yeah, edit. And then here is checked dynamically according to size of model. We uncheck it and and I subtract here five. Okay, and then you can see the axis designations are closer to the model. Okay, you can also hide 
the axis in the display navigator under here guide objects and then you can uncheck the guidelines and the axis would be hidden but we want uh, we would like to show them and document them okay then i make only the timber structure and the steel structure visible with that option visibility by selected objects and the concrete floor slab is hidden okay let's print that graphic in the printout report here above print graphic to the printout report the current only as screen view that the options i will use and the height 50 percent of the page no rotation and i confirm that so usually we would print yeah the graphic with this option here uh, for the printout report input data and reduced results but uh, you can also yeah use other options but in that case i would like to disable a lot of pages because we want to print the graphics firstly uh, in an almost uh, empty protocol or in a protocol with yeah, not so much uh, many pages and therefore i disable here the rfm da data the RF steel data i leave the concrete and timber data because we would like to print graphics in that chapters okay so and now a printout report with only few pages is created at the end we will have got yeah more than 170 pages now there are only 24 and the handling of the graphics are yeah, much better okay but we can see that graphic is quite confusing but we can yeah modify that uh, yeah, afterwards by right click i can open the properties and i can rotate the graphic at first i use the full page height and rotate the graphic i think 90 degrees okay quite better but uh, i'm not satisfied with, satisfied with this graphic i ch will change it here with right click and edit i go back to rfm and then i can set in the display navigator under results members can here use the option to colored that's the current state then with diagram it's colored here then without diagram and cross sections i think that's a good overview you can see the maximum design ratio is in the horizontal beam here and I can go back in the printout report. Okay, that graphic is much better. We will use it and we would like to print that graphic of the of the axis E separately in the printout report. We leave the printout report with saving that graphic. Then I create a new visibility. I use this time this option here. It's the same like uh, as I uh, when I uh, click on the right mouse key, visibility by selected objects. I use the wireframe display model, and we can uh, yeah, create a view 
for example, here, create new user defined view. I can call it access access E. Okay. And you can go back easily uh, later when, uh, to this graphic. I can show you. I can see the visibility mode. Send this view. And I click here to access E and come back to this graphic. Okay, here you can see the 94% design ratio. We printed graphic. That's quite easy now. So now also that graphic is created. Uh, it's quite sufficient. I could do the, the panel smaller here uh, with proper properties. I can use a color scale and width of 20, only 20%. 20 okay. Okay, that looks better. I could move that on the right side a little bit, but I uh, don't do that. We leave the protocol with saving the graphics. And then we print the reinforcement results. Okay. I choose only the concrete floor slab in the view. Uh, just a moment. Okay. So. A view in set direction. A small tip: uh, when you zoom in and out in a graphic with the uh, with the mouse wheel, you can see steps. If you want to zoom in and out without steps, you can press the shift key and the middle mouse key, and then move the mouse uh, back and forward, and you can zoom in, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, continuously. Okay, just a small tip. Then we go to our concrete surfaces and the results. Those are the uh, right results governing of ultimate limit state and the visibility limit state. Now you can see there are uh, almost the same values in the concrete floor slab because of the restrained uh, design. Uh, I use in this webinar the uh, graphic of the ultimate limit state design. Uh, the graphic is uh, has more uh, different values. You can see here the values between zero and 2.7 and zero and 2.8. Not that graphics are more informative. Okay, I could print that graphic that uh, would be absolutely sufficient, but I would like to, uh, to do a, a task that is more difficult, I would like to print a graphic with all values in all grid points. I check here, values on surfaces, on grid and user-defined points. And when I have got here all values, I can use here not the ISO bands, but the ISO lines.
And then I test the print, I print the graphic. Um, I use the full page height and rotate it 90 degrees and we will see how it looks like. Now we can see the values are too large. The graphic is quite confusing and we leave the protocol without saving. By right click at one value, we, are, we can open the display properties and we are on the right place here, result values on surfaces. We can change the settings here separately for the screen and the printout report, but we can also uh, use identical settings for both. We change only the you know, settings for, or the setting for the printout report. I use here for the values, the black color. Then I, yeah, I delete the arrow here, then I move the, um, uh, the values in the middle of the grid point and I change the font size to four. That's in German because my Windows is in German, but it doesn't matter. So, okay. And then we print it again. Same settings. And just a moment and then we will see that looks now much better. Yeah, now we can read all the values here. At least for a PDF print, it would be absolutely okay. Then we leave the printout report because I would like to show you a mass print only for four pages for the uh, yeah, two directions here and for the top and the bottom means the reinforcement. I go here to print again and choose here mass print. I change the mass print settings and I select the of concrete surfaces module data choose here ultimate limit state design and AS1, AS2 for the top and both for the bottom I could also add here other graphics, but for this example, uh, four pages or four graphics are sufficient. You can do it yeah, the same way if you want to print more graphics. The um, mass print works uh, for yeah, member graphics uh, or graphics with member results as well but I would like to show you the function for the surface results. Okay, just a moment and then our graphics are visible. Click our graphics here, you can see it's okay. Okay, a small tip. For example, if you want to add here comments, etc., here in the left column, you can click here with the right mouse 
then properties and you can here add text for example design notes just an example here you can see it just a small tip okay then some basic basics for example we can create a header with click here header setup we can open the library and we can create a new header i already created luba header with the name of our company and the address and the logo you can change the first number of the protocol for example in the settings you can add prefixes uh, etc so the header should be okay now yes okay then we create a cover sheet here yeah, with cover setup you can also show the picture of the model automatically I can add here some text. I prepared the text. It's only a fictive text. But we would like to do the printout report complete. Okay. That's the cover. Okay, you can see that takes not much time. We can go to the next point. You can insert text blocks, text files, images. Now I, I will add a text block. Here the preliminary notes. I have prepared also some dummy text. Now only the first sentence is correct, the rest is dummy text. It will be added at the end of the protocol, but we can move that later on the right place. I will add an image from a clipboard. I go to our website and here under solutions, you can find the online services, for example, the GeoZone tool, cross-section properties, the glossary. I think some of you know that tool already, it's for free. We have got here a lot of standards, internet, international standards, also the euro code with the national annexes i use here germany i entered the address of our office in leipzig okay and we can see here snow load zone 2 and the characteristic value of the snow load and we can create a screenshot Then we can open it with an image tool. For me, there is a Snagit. I can copy it to the clipboard and then insert it to the protocol. My name, I call it Snow Load Zone. Okay. And yeah, you could do the same with the wind loads, etc., earthquake load zones and so on, also other graphics. Okay, in the next step, I, or some other tip now uh, again, you can add here empty pages. For example, you would like to add um, 
pages from external programs, etc., in your protocol. And then you see here, or here, that's that is page number 11. And I, by right click, can I insert pages before the block? I call it test and five pages. Okay. And then you can see it's page 16, and this page is page 10. Oh. But I will delete them, okay, just for info. Now it's page 11 again. And the next step is select the topics. First, I check here contents. We would like to show the content. Then the RFM data. I choose them the of steel data. Those are already in the protocol. Okay. Now you can use that settings. Um, what, what which you like yeah you can disable some content for example i will disable here the results of the load cases and load combinations and unch or use here another settings for the cross section internal forces i choose here not the partition values but the extreme values of the cross sections. Okay. Therefore, the uh, protocol will not have too much, I've got too much pages or too many pages. Okay. Then the whole protocol is created in a few seconds. So you can see all the module data. I moved the, pri the preliminary notes at the beginning. Just a moment. Now you can see now we have got 170 pages. So I move it behind the contents. Okay. Now our pages will be renumbered. Uh, it takes some time. So, and I move this no load graphic here in that chapter. Uh, I have to wait some seconds. Okay. So we jump to the preliminary notes. The cover sheet, the contents, preliminary notes, and then the uh, RFM data are shown here, snow. the generated snow loads and the graphic from the global homepage. Then it's possible to translate the protocol. There are 13 languages available, German, French, Italian, Russian, also Chinese, etc by clicking here to French. The 
yeah, whole protocol will be translated yeah, in a few seconds. You can see here the text is already in French. Okay, just we have to wait some seconds. I will show you some other parts. Yeah, all the whole protocol is now in French. We translate it back. Okay. Uh, that will take some time. Uh, you can uh, export the printout report to VC Master, for example. How to do that, I would like to show you in uh, with the help of a knowledge base article. Sandy Madela uh, wrote this article and she did also a short video where you can see how it works. You can also print the printout report in a PDF, etc. On, on my printer, I can show you file. For example, export to PDF, export to RTF. That's a text file. Can print it directly to a printer, also to a PDF printer. I can start it. Yeah. It would be take some time. I cancel it. Okay, and show you the complete report instead. That's the PDF. You can see the graphic here. It looks quite good. But, yeah. That's the whole printout report as a PDF file. Okay, some or another tip. You can save printout report templates. For example, the, you can use with those settings here for a new uh, template. Yeah, then you will need to choose here new from current printout report, and then you can enter here a name and save it. You can also uh, save a new template. You can here check and uncheck the chapters that you want to display. Okay. Yeah, as promised, I show you the article about VC Master. Here under support and learning, you can find here a lot of FRQs and knowledge base articles. I open the knowledge base database. You can see a lot of articles. I use the full text search. Is the master I have searched already in the test for it. Okay, here are three articles. I will show you the article export to VC Master. Here's a short uh, description. Here you can see that Sandy wrote it. Maybe we can take a look at the video. Yeah, uh, an easy beam, free field beam, free field beam with a cantilever, and it's printed in the printout report as we did it in the webinar today. Those uh, this sim simple example has only four pages. Now uh, with that graphic, VC master must be opened before you export anything from the printout report to VC master, then you can click at the top to VC master. And then you can choose the pages that you want to export. Uh, those, this report has only four pages and all pages are 
transferred in some seconds. Yeah, okay. You can also add to this VC master tool uh, other printout reports, also from other programs. Yeah, it's quite easy to handle. Just test it. Okay, then I go back to the PowerPoint presentation. I would like to introduce you some free online services. I already showed the GeoZone tool with a lot of codes where you can yeah, uh, determine the snow, wind, and seismic load zones, etc. Then the cross-section properties, it's also a free online tool for standardized sections and you can also define your own parameterized cross-sections and calculate then the properties. I showed already also the FRQs and the knowledge base, a lot of valuable yeah, informative stuff. Then you can download models from our website. The Gluba engineers created them. You can find there also the model of today's webinar, also of our webinars. Then we have our, I've got our YouTube channel with the webinars and the videos, all yeah, for free, uh, of course. Then the web shop with prices. You can create your own offer uh, as a PDF. You yeah, can configure it by yourself. Then use our trial licenses for programs yeah, that you don't know. For example, uh, Arbin simulation, yeah, shape fin, shape massive, etc. And yeah, we offer a free support via email and chat. And you can find forward detail details on our website, global.com. Okay, then we are at the end of the webinar. I thank you for your attention. Thanks, Sandy, for answering the questions. Uh, have a nice day. Maybe we can hear or yeah, see each other in another webinar or also on a trade fair, etc. Uh, I wish you a rest, nice or a nice rest of the day. Yeah, and bye bye. Bye.